for the rest of this box. This is a medium flat rate box that we started last night. We didn't get to finish it. So we're going to try to finish it tonight. And there is about two more bags left in the box. And I still have this one left on the desk that we didn't get to finish. So we're going to start with that. And hopefully we'll get through. If not, we'll do a part three tomorrow. <laughs> Let's just see how long we can go. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy looking at jewelry. I hope you enjoy thrifting, treasure hunting, and all of that. Because that is what we do here. As a matter of fact, tomorrow... I'm going to go pick up the items that I want at an auction estate sale. I'm super excited about that. If I see any garage sales or anything, we may just go live there as well. And, um, well, I hope it's a nice adventure. And I hope my husband has the stamina because uh, he tends to get a little, a little irked when he has to do some uh, hard labor, like pick up a shelf that I ordered. <laughs> that I won at the auction but my goodness I got it for $34 and I should have kept going but um, they actually auctioned off a huge collection of fiesta wear it was all one color it was that gray which I have a little few pieces of that and I should have kept bidding on that that only sold for $64 at this auction so to say that I am now intrigued with online auctions is a gross understatement. You may be seeing me bring more and more of that to you. I hope you enjoy that. Thank you so much, everyone who's here. I hope you take the time today to subscribe. The subscribe button is on the right. It's a little red rectangle. It's always a free subscription. And I hope you take the time also to hit that thumbs up because that really helps grow the channel and gets more people involved in this wonderful enterprise. All right, this, I believe, is, um, I think it's a dyed halite. It really doesn't look like a natural one to me, but I'm not sure it could be. I have no idea. But it's very pretty. I mean, it really is nice. It's, they did a fabulous job on here, I'll tell you what, because you cannot even see how they put that on that bracelet. And I love the deployment type hinge on this. Is that not the coolest thing ever? That is so pretty. This box, guys, was sent to me as a gift from my wonderful friend and subscriber, longtime friend, longtime subscriber, Miss Pamela Eagle Shield. And she loves her turquoise. She's Native American. And boy, she's got some beautiful collections. And I'm not sure if this one is or not, but isn't that beautiful? That's a really nice piece. Oh, before I forget my rings of the day, I have a lapis. And there's that alarm again. <laughs> I got to take these watches out of here. I got to sell some watches, y'all. I love this, the setting on this one. I love the specs of pyrite on this one. I The one I had on yesterday was pretty much sans any kind of pyrite or anything. I have my, um, what is it, James Avery. Brutalist in sterling. I have the James Avery Brutalist in 14 karat gold. I have that wonderful swinger ring that some people call motion rings, but originally they were called swinger rings. Love that. That's emeralds and diamonds on there on 18 karat gold. All right, and I'm wearing the bracelet that was in there last night, the Carolyn Pollock. Is it not beautiful? OMG, I love it. It is so pretty. Those bench beads are amazing. I polished it just a tad. I really like the rich patina on this one but this was part of that wonderful box again a gift full of jewelry from my wonderful friend and subscriber miss pamela eagle shield i do love this pamela this is just like super cool it really is i love the vibe of leather and turquoise and all that good stuff all right and then we did pull this one out last night this is that really shiny i don't know if it's a crystal beautifully faceted and just a really nice, rich color. I mean, it really is. That is really pretty. And that's that there. That was also there in the stuff we got out last night. We had a lot of packages we opened up last night. There's still a whole bag here and two more in there. It looks blue. The ring looks blue. It's very pretty. It really is. I think it's a gold tone. Maybe a gold fill, but it's so pretty. Big old stone on there. Kathleen, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Hi, Miss Carrie. Thank you, Patricia. Candy, I'm glad you're here. Denise Wright. 
Emily, as well as Debbie Reichart and Vanessa, Lisa, how are y'all? I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much. Perla, how are you? Kimberly and Sandra and Kathy as well. All right, let's see what's in here. Another cool bracelet. Look at that. This looks like a lucky brand or something. Look at that. That's got some kind of a Hindu god, I believe, back here in the back with the trunk, kind of an elephant face there. A peace sign. See, can I tell them or can I tell them? Lucky brand. There's just something about their aesthetic. It always stands out. And they're so well made. They make really, really nice jewelry. Very expensive, too. Costume pieces, but they're made very nicely. And you would just faint if you saw the prices at department stores if you haven't been familiar with Lucky Brand. But isn't that a lovely one? Thank you so much, Miss Pamela. Why am I wearing two watches? Because I found this one in the bathroom. And I wanted to fetch it and take it to my jewelry box. And here it is halfway hinged. I'm going to lose that. Let me put that away. All right. Now another pretty ring. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at this big thing. That is a heart. How timely. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Am I too close? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That is a heart. Oh, that's cute. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that is really nice. That is a statement piece. Wow. Cute. I've been finding the hearts these days. I keep running into my jewelry that has hearts and wearing it. Here's a little copper bangle. I believe this is real copper. Isn't that a beautiful ring? Thank you guys for putting that thumb up when you walk in the door. I appreciate it so much. It's better not too close. Good, good. Oh, look at this. This is some kind of glass. I don't know what kind of stone that is. But these others are glass and metal. And then this is wood. These are all wood right here. Very nice. They almost look like Chinese lanterns or something. You guys see those? That is pretty. And I guess this is fairly long, probably, what, 40 inches long. I guess you could even triple this necklace easily. You really could. It's super pretty. I like it. Kind of tribal looking, actually. That's cute. And this is orange and brown beads. Oh, happy birthday, Joanna. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate the compliment thank you all right and here we go with um very pretty silver tone it is kind of festooned there so it goes into a triple chain here amazing necklace here this one's very pretty this looks like a very high quality piece very weighty looks like something from napier or monet I love that different texture on those links. And I don't see a mark on it at all. But that is super pretty. That's a really nice one to make an ensemble with. All right, let's see what's in here. These look like little crystal bracelets. Let's see if I can open this. It does look like a Monet, doesn't it? I thought so, too. All right, let's see if I can find that sharp knife. Where's my sharp one? Oh, there it went. Okay, I got it open. I know it's hard to see things through the plastic. Well, this is nice. It's uh, acrylic. It's not stretchy. Blue and kind of AB stones there, so that's cute. And let me see what else is in here. Ooh, this black one is really nice. These are glass beads. Wow, this is pretty. This reminds me, and it's got a barrel clasp. This reminds me of um, some Bo Sterling. I had a couple of pieces of Bo Sterling, 
that had this little micro beading work on it. Kind of that mill grain work, but this is on the, the silvery beads. And this could very easily also be tripled. Look at that. These are glass beads. They're very heavy. And they, these are metal, and they're like in a gold tone. I mean, silver tone color. Look at that little teeny. Doesn't that look like that? Um, remember those um, magnetic toys that you, they would, I call them toys, but you would keep them in your office like little fidget toys. And you, and you put your hand on them and they would form, you know, like your hand or something. That's what it reminds me of. These are really, really nice. They also remind me of something from like an Ed Hardy design. He's really big on the beads and this really patinaed look. These are all black glass. And then these are heavy metal type beads. That is a pretty piece. I really like that. I like it long too. But how would, pretty wouldn't that be tripled up? Like that. Oh, I love it. It's so cool. Marcasite, they're not Marcasite, thank goodness. No, they are not Marcasite. They're just little micro beading. Look, like some are protruding, see? And some are flattened. That's why I'm telling, saying that it reminds me of that toy with the nails that you, people used to have on their desks. If you, Well, you can still see them. And you, you know, you'd put depress your hand on it and then your handprint would come out. Then you flip it back and it would go back to normal. That's what that reminds me of. Those are so cool. This is a really nice piece, too. This is glass as well. And look at that pretty blue. The prettiest powder blue, some silver beads. These are glass. And then some pearls, some faux pearls. Just lovely. What a pretty color. All these pretty pastels are just in time. I'm already feeling the mood for Easter. I bought so many decorations last year for Easter, guys, and I didn't even put them up. <laughs> it just kind of passed me by with the pandemic. Everything else took, you know, backstage. And I am just dying to get out in the, and plant things and put up my bunnies and my decor. And I went and bought more plants today. I'll have to show you guys my new, my new passion. <laughs> Renewed passion, I should say, because I used to be a real plant, crazy plant lady for many, many years. And then I just kind of moved on to other things, ran out of time to, to nurse them and everything, nurture them rather. So, but I'm back into it and I'm excited about it. This is pretty. This one has stations of rose gold and then some pearls. Really nice pearl. I like that. I like the single pearl there. And this is short. Uh, I don't think you can double it, but it would make a very nice ensemble with just some pearls. Don't you think? A strand of pearls with that would be really pretty because those are the stations there. Very nice. All right. And then here's some shells. And, boy, that looks like camphor glass or something, but it's interesting. I think some of them need to be cleaned because some of them look really clear, and then the other ones are a little cloudy. And they are on a rosary link with some mother pearl, and, not mother pearl, abalone shell all throughout. That is really pretty, too. I like this piece. And the hearts, there come the hearts again. I bought some ivies that look like hearts, too. <laughs> or pothos or whatever they're called. It's just really all hearts this month. Okay, here's another pretty one. Oh, this is pretty. This looks very Bali. Not Bali, Bollywood. This looks very Bollywood. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at these beautiful frosted beads. Those are pretty. And these dangles, yeah, definitely very exotic. 
<clears throat> Gary Bollywood on this one. It is long. Look at that. And just really lovely greens and blues on here. These are acrylic, but these are glass. Very nice. And I love that gold. That is pretty. Look at this donut here. Oh, pretty. That looks like that magnesite or something, doesn't it? Look at that. It looks like it has pyrite in it. And then this looks like um, some kind of marble or something. That is a beautiful piece. Isn't that nice? I guess you could hang another cord on it like that. Or maybe, yeah. I don't know, that's just really, really pretty. That's nice. Can you see that pyrite in there? Wow. That is nice. We'll have to figure something out with that. Hi, Cat Go. Hi, Wings of Love. How are you? Okay. Aw, this is sweet. This is a little snowflake necklace with a rhinestone there. That's pretty. Nice chain on that. And, oh, look at this. This is some kind of jasper. Guys, I've been running into so much costume jewelry. I'll have to bring it to my auction that has labradorite and mother of pearl and other gemstones. And uh, they're just on silver tone. It's so interesting. And gold tone costume pieces. That's a nice cold stone. I don't know what it is, but it is cold. Look at that could be a man-made piece I'm not sure but it's interesting very nice All right, let's see what else is here this is cute this has a necklace I believe and the matching earrings and these are a beautiful purple look at that looks like sandstone to you oh possible I'll have to look that up that is very possible. Here's a one with a magnet clasp, glass beads, some kind of um, faux turquoise, or uh, like a reconstituted or man-made piece. Very pretty though and heavy. And look at the beautiful beads that has. That's really nice. Can you see that? They almost look like little bench beads, but they're kind of like donut shaped. They're flattened. That's a beautiful piece. I like the colors on that one. Very nice. Here is some dyed halite in a stretch with an infinity uh, charm on that. And you can see that telltale matrix that Howlite has. It's almost brown and very veiny. It's very uniform, very much uh, like it doesn't go out into spots or anything. It's usually just veiny like that. It's very pretty. I like Howlite. It makes a nice alternative to turquoise and I like it in its natural state, which is kind of a creamy white. An agate. This is nice too. This is a really pretty vintage looking one. Not vintage, but it's got that really pretty style. Green and gold on that. Nice sunny gold. I'm really liking that lucky... <laughs> that lucky bracelet is so cool. Lucky brand. Oh, we've got some quartz here. It isn't 1928, but it did look like it, didn't it? Ooh, we've got some Labradorite. Look at that. Look at that beautiful little piece there. Let's find that. 
this is kind of tangled we will definitely take out the knot this is also branded with a heart so let's see what it says oh i'm so glad thank you so much it's getting crazy here it's only 50 but it's so chilly the wind is picking up and everything so it's really strange but thank you for being here i appreciate it okay this says uh oh i've heard of this nakano n-a-k n-a-k-n N-A-K-A-N-O-L. Nakano. I've heard of this. I don't remember if it was Elizabeth at Makeup Zombie who was selling some of her pieces or what. That's the brand there. N-A-K-A-N-O-L. And it is 925. And it is Labradorite. Very cool. I love this. This is so delicate. I need to do a collection of delicate chains. Look how pretty that is. These are all pin set. And they are also Labradorite. These are tiny beads of Labradorite. And then this little pear shaped, or I guess it would not a pear shape, more like an oval cut faceted Labradorite and I love when they go with the you know we all love the blue but I really like the green and the gray and the yellow of Labradorite when they get a nice cut like that it really is beautiful it's it's underappreciated but I do love the other shades of Labradorite that we see for different designs you know like I said I just found a ring that has a lot of the green and it totally looks like a cat, uh, animal's eye or something. It's so beautiful. All right, this is pink and clear quartz. Miss Pamela, oh my God, my goodness. This is just an incredible gift. Thank you so much. These are going to go in my tray. <laughs> I've been putting these over there in my collection of stones. Oh, wow. Can you tell the difference? This is the clear and this is the pink rose quartz. I guess it's called rose quartz, right? And there. Now they came apart. And there they are. Two beautiful strands. Ah, so nice. So, so nice. Those would be very pretty together, too. I'll definitely wear them, too. I'm not just, I'm not just putting them on the tray. <laughs> when I put things like this, I do pull them out and wear them. Is everyone else having a problem with the... Um, with the stream, is it starting to buff again? To buffer again or anything, let me know. Here's a little stretch of pearls. Wonderful. That is cool. And look at these, I love these. I don't know what this stone is. I mean, this little man-made bead, it looks like the color of gunmetal, but sparkly. It's so pretty. And look at that, I love this little cluster too. Wow, look at that. That's an interesting bead. That looks like a, what do you call those gypsy things? Where the gypsy tells your future, your fortune or whatever. Crystal ball, right? Yeah. They've got like an inner glow to them. Those are really cool. And they're acrylic. That is super nice. I want a crystal ball made out of quartz. I've been following these people on Instagram and they have crystal balls. They're so cool. Of course I don't believe in knowing my fortune, but I just want to I just want that vibe all around <laughs> of those beautiful crystal balls. All right. That one's very nice. You did? Oh my gosh. Some of those things out of Wish are pretty nice. I don't know. I don't trust their um, their sterling. I've had a lot of people say that that was awful. Look, this is energy. It's also Howlite. But, I mean, you just never know. Other things, other products that people have gotten, like household goods, people have been ecstatic about. This is super cool. This one, these are knots all through here. They've got uh, kind of a cord, I guess. 
and they're knotted so they kind of look like beads and then those are howlite beads beautiful cold howlite beads very cool i like that with a little asian coin design nice all right let's see what else we have in these bags hi miss lynn i'm glad you're here did you really nice you just you just have to uh you know go with your gut and um that's what i do i used to you know i used to think that a lot of things that came from there would not be good but they they have impressed me with uh, some things people have shown this looks very much like a brighton but I don't see any signature or anything, but it's such a pretty piece. And I love that chain, that kind of a wheat link chain. That's just really nice. Very, very cool. I like that. Okay. Let's see what's in this bag. Oh, let me see here. Well, I'll have to see about a, I would like to have a clear quartz crystal ball, though. <laughs> Sitting on a beautiful pedestal. Wouldn't that be pretty? Those are so cool. This is such a pretty piece right here, guys. It is tangled. It has some pearls. But I'm going to see if I can untangle it because I'm curious as to how this goes with two pearls. That's the truth. The world does get smaller. For sure. So do you guys want me to try and film from that estate sale tomorrow? I think it would be fun. Well, it's not an estate sale. It's an auction that has already finished. But I think it's going to be interesting trying to see how we're going to get that thing in the truck. You can see my husband lose his cool, which he does often, especially when I come up with some whim that he's like, uh, wait a minute, you know I work on Saturdays. So you're going to make me take the day to go do this and then we have to do that and maybe if I go to breakfast with him really early and get him fed he won't be so ornery. All right, they're two and they look really pretty together. <laughs> one is smaller than the other, one is shorter than the other. They're lovely, they're kind of beige color. They look like vintage pieces to me. Uh, I think one of them might even be gold filled. Just looks like it from the color, and yeah, one of them is has has the 120 mark on them on the little. Those are cute. It sounds like fun. Oh my gosh, he's a lot of fun when he doesn't want to do what he wants to, what what I want him to do, and when he has to work. You know, he does a lot of things. He really does. He can build everything. I mean, there's not very many things that he can't make and build from scratch honestly he's even he used to make buildings first of all builds motorcycles but if I ask him to do one thing for me like put together a bookshelf and it's already together but he acts like I'm asking him to build oh a bit you know a skyscraper it's crazy look at this gorgeous piece so we'll see I'll try to humor him and I'll put, I don't know, I'll put on a smile anyway, because I know he's going to complain. But it's going to be worth it, and I'm not going to care, because I'm going to love the stuff I bought. I can't wait to show it to you. I'm super excited about it. Did I tell you the Amor sold for $18? Huge, beautiful, deco-style Amor that I wanted, but I, again, I was kind of glad I, I didn't keep bidding on it, because he would have complained even more. That he had to move a big giant armoire. Eighteen dollars. I stopped bidding at twelve. It started at ten. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. The prices of some of those things. But it's funny how you know. I guess people bid on what they like, right? Because some things that they almost went at retail price, you know. But when someone wants something, you got two people in a bidding war. 
That's why it's a bidding war and that's what makes it an auction. This is lovely, absolutely lovely. This is a beautiful baby, no, more like an ocean blue. This looks like obsidian up here, the little black nuggets. And then these over here are like a teal color. And the big ones are acrylic. That is really a pretty piece. Findings are nice, has a drop. This is gorgeous. So, and then, like I said, it was the first time I had ever discovered an online um, estate sale, auction style. And um, my coworker told me about it, and we were both bidding. And he even told me today, he's like, I don't know why I bid on all that stuff. I don't need any of that stuff. You're welcome to buy it from me at half price. <laughs> He's so funny. He has me in stitches all day long. He really does. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> I will take you up on that offer. Are you serious? This is gorgeous, too. Another very dainty piece. Very, very pretty. I like that, too. And look at this. This looks like a very nice one, too. Look at that. It's like a little door knocker style. It looks like it has a brand on it. Monet, I think it says on the back there. Let me see. Monet, yeah, that's really pretty. The chain is gorgeous too. It is like a snake chain. And this is actually red. It looks black, but it is actually red, like a burgundy red. It, under the light, it gives off a little red. That's pretty. Thanks, guys, for hitting that thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Do so now because uh, you will love the content here if you like jewelry and you like treasure hunting. And tomorrow we're going to hang around with a grumpy husband as we pick up stuff from an estate sale. We'll see. I'm hoping I can film a little bit. It rained all day today, and the lady was saying that, uh, in a way, I'd be better off coming today because, for pickup, I mean tomorrow than today because it rained so much, but I'm hoping it doesn't rain tomorrow. This is really pretty. This is a chain. I don't know how these chains go, honestly. I've been running into chains like this, and somebody told me, I think they attach to other pieces when they have the double um, clasp like that. I think you can actually attach other necklaces to it and detach them and design them differently. Let me know what you know about that. All right. All right, we've got two more bags here, guys, and they are huge. Oh my gosh, they are huge. One is super heavy. I'm gonna try to get through this one and then I'm gonna do the other part later because I think it'll take us a long time. The other one is bigger than this. Okay. Oh, it keeps them from twisting too much, so you I'm not sure, but someone was telling me that one of the necklaces that I pulled out like that, you could actually at attach another piece. Yeah, let's see how we can get through this one within the next 30 minutes. So I don't want to go over an hour. And uh, if, then we'll, we'll just finish tomorrow again. <laughs> this is a wonderful, wonderful lot. Oh my gosh, these are cold stones too, guys. This is ice cold. I don't know what it is. It is so nice. It's kind of an orange color. It's got a very nice toggle. It's got matching earrings. I don't know if that's uh, like a mahogany, mahogany jasper or something. I don't know, but it's cold as ice. Absolutely, I still have acid on my hands. Really, really cold. So there are still two more bags and I, I, I don't even have room on this table to put everything on the side here.
but I'm going to try and get through this, like I said, within 30 minutes. Whatever we don't finish, we'll finish tomorrow. Wasn't that a pretty stone? I mean, that thing is cold. Right, let's see what else pops out of here. Got some kind of a love, another pretty heart, and it says love. How cute. I think it's like a little drawstring bracelet or something. Thank you. You're into the Arctic Vor Miss Barb, how are you? Jour journey of Jewelry. How are you, Journey of Jewelry? This is cute. I think it's a little bracelet. It's so sweet. It's just a little, I don't even know. It feels like a, kind of like leather, actually. And it says love. And I guess you tie it around your wrist there. That's cute. Oh, look at this big cross. This is nice. Gold and silver tone. Very cool. We got a pretty choker with a pearl dangle. That is so sweet for someone going to prom or something. We're just dressing with that romantic theme. Here's a velvet choker. I got this box. It's a $14 flat rate box and it's full of jewelry. And it came from a wonderful friend and subscriber. And part one, I'll link here as well. So you can look at that bracelet. Oh my gosh. I will link part one, but it is the one that says all we need is jewelry as well. Uh, I did it yesterday. So we've already done quite a bit. 30 minutes yesterday and 30 minutes so far. And she just sent me a box of jewelry and said that um, she knew I would appreciate it because I love jewelry and... Uh, She's not actually selling anymore, but she is quite the collector. And uh, I'm so appreciative. Look at that beautiful piece, guys. I don't even know how to describe it. It is like a gorgeous orange. It actually has marling on those stones. It is gold tone, but like I said, I've been running into so much costume pieces with genuine stones. This is acrylic, though. But it's like the color of a Mexican fire opal. Gorgeous. Do I bead or create? No, I actually used to make jewelry. Not like Sandy. I'm not a metalsmith. But I used to bead and make all and redesign jewelry and that kind of thing. Here's another cute choker. Silver. But I don't do that anymore. I just uh, collect it. I love it. I wear it. I sell it. I have auctions over on Facebook every Saturday at 5 p.m. Central. If you're ever interested in joining, anyone who wants to join, all the information is in my description box, and you need only agree to the terms. This is so cute. These are little bugle beads on a memory coil, red and silver. And it's a free private group over there, so I like to sell over there. I don't like to sell on my channel. Uh, as far as auctions or anything. So 5 p.m. Central every Saturday. But if you ever do see anything in a haul, please email me at thelmahordes at gmail.com. And we, oh, this looks like that stuff from, um, where is that? Holland, right? That is so cute. And uh, we can always do a talk over there about the details and a price if there's anything you're interested in. This is beautiful. This, these are sodalite beads as well in this necklace. She really did. These are incredible. These are incredible pieces. They really are. Here is a, I think this is copper too. No, it's kind of a brass color bangle. And then we have some charms here. Look how cute. They're all kitties. This will match my James Avery kitty bracelet. Look at that. So cute. We may have lost one of the beads because it's beads and kitty cats. 
<laughs> How cute. They look like pewter, actually. I don't know if they are, but that is really pretty. And let's see what else is here. We are going to run into some tangles, of course. That happens. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, this is cute. Look at this brooch. I had a brooch like this, but it didn't have this much color. Mine had just a pink rose. And this is a real crystal. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Little pendulum there. Nice. Look at that beautiful... Well, I don't know. Would you call that a pendulum with this kind of a... Well, <laughs> speechless it's so cold look at those beautiful features in there look at that beautiful piece of clear quartz crystal wow i've never seen one cut like this and look obviously it was part of something and these are genuine stones too i have clear quartz here i believe this is citrine you guys can tell me what you think they are, but I think that's citrine, clear quartz, and I'm not sure. I think it might be malachite. It's really dark, and this is just amazing. The chakras? Ah, okay. Better not show it to my daughter. She'll take it. She'll find it, though, in my tray. It'll be in my tray. That is so awesome. I love that. It took my mind off this beautiful brooch for a minute. But yes, I used to have a brooch like this, but mine only the only the rose was colored. It didn't have the leaves covered, colored. And this one actually has texture. You can see some texture on the leaves and on the rose. That is beautiful. A scribing crystal. Ooh, I'll have to look all that jargon up, guys. Okay, here's a gorgeous ring. That's pretty. Looks like a ivory colored stone or something very nice that's very nice a little big on me but pretty and more rings oh my gosh look at these rings what else a couple more rings here's a pin a little service pin these sell really well if you guys collect these if you get jars and start a collection of them whoops Put them up on eBay. When you get a whole bunch of them, they really do sell. What did I draw? Oh, my loop. And a few times that I have guessed it on people's auctions, I've sold them for over $100. And I had a huge bag. And many of them are actually gold. Look at this beautiful piece. Look at those beautiful rhinestones or crystals, whatever they are. There are baguettes. There's some round cuts. That is so awesome. Yeah, a couple of times I've guessed it on um, auctions here on YouTube. A couple, I think well, I did one like three years ago, and then I did, I think, um, T, T's auction as well. And I got over $100 for a little sandwich bag full of those pins. People know that they are. They resell them, I'm sure. And many times, like I said, some of them are actually gold or gold filled, and you can they have melt value. So don't discard those things. Oh, this blue one. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. This one's Mark Sterling, I believe. Where's my loop? I dropped it. Let me get it. Let me pick it up. Let me say hello to a couple of people and remind you to please pit, put that thumbs up. Please share the video in your Facebook groups or wherever you hang out. And don't forget to subscribe. And hit the bell for notifications. Yes, it is Mark 925. What a gorgeous ring. OMG, it's beautiful. Has three stones on the side. It has the beautiful cornflower blue of an emerald. I mean, of a sapphire. But I'm sure it's just a little crystal or something. But isn't that gorgeous? I like the little flat profile on that. I really like when a ring does that. That's so unique. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, 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 I like that one. That one's very cool. Very nice. Miss Pamela, you're way too kind, and I so appreciate your kindness. 
you are one in a million. I think this is a uh, stainless band or tungsten or something. It feels very weighty and heavy. This little band right here. That was in there too. That's pretty. Laughing. Laugh, love, polish. <laughs> it's such a cute name. What was the gold ring? The gold ring, this one right here, is a little gold tone band. Very cool, kind of a zigzag. That's a cute little stacking ring. Looks good there, doesn't it? I'll put, leave that on. Just leave that one on. Oh, look at this choker, this torque. Wow, this is cool. This looks like the color of sterling as well. I don't know if it is. But it is sharp looking, isn't it? Isn't that pretty? Could be an alpaca. I'm not sure. I don't see a mark anywhere. And that is very nice. That is a cool looking piece. Okay. Yeah, that one was nice, isn't it? Okay, let's see what we can put on here. Oh, wow. This is very nice. This is really nice. This is brass. Look at that pretty chain. Bars all over there. This will polish up very nicely. This is pretty. Very cool. I'm getting tangled up in there. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. This looks like gaspiite and turquoise, and this is genuine turquoise. The pearls look like they're faux. So cute. Isn't that a pretty combination? And look how the, the turquoise graduated. So cool. Yeah, that is really nice. Oh my goodness. Look at this one. This one is all dyed halite, multicolored. Very nice. I love that. That is pretty. <laughs> this is cute. Little Santa Claus. And I think I'm just going to untangle this and then we'll probably save the rest for tomorrow. This is an absolute amazing gift box of jewelry from a wonderful subscriber and wow I am just overwhelmed with so many beautiful pieces in here look at the little cameo oh wow that's cute gotta get this little wire piece out of here and we are almost done with that what happens is these little wires get into the links and then it can't come out but this one came out all right and this is pretty beige and pink beads very nice these are all acrylic and the wire is kind of a rose gold or copper color very nice Okay, this is another multi-strand. I like this. I like that leopard print bead. The pink in there is gorgeous. This is an anklet. And it's really sweet. It's got little tiny flower beads. 
It has some beige and turquoise colored beads. But that is definitely an anklet. It has a very long extender as well. That is so pretty. That's an exotic piece. I like that. And then this one. Let me see if I can lay it flat here. This is so nice. I love the black jewelry. And this one actually has gold. So that's a nice one. Those are prong set rhinestones. Very cool. Hi, Miss Rebecca. How are you? I hope you're doing better. I hope you and your husband are doing wonderful. Take care of yourself. This is really cool, guys. It may be um, a little longer than what it looks like here, but it's a charm necklace, and it has a really cute little faux cameo, some fun tassel there, a little flower. Cute, cute, cute. Very cute. Oh, gosh, this one's cute. What brand is this? It is so shiny. Thanks for helping young minds grow. Oh, my gosh, how sweet is that? Little teacher bracelet. This is the prettiest one I've ever seen. Looks a little bit like an Annex Alex and Ani. Look at that. Oh, that is darling. I'm definitely keeping this one. Yeah, there are moments where I really, really feel it. <laughs> really, really feel those young minds grow. Or some little light bulb goes off. Not so much. Of course, we always want them to learn the things they need to learn, like algebra. But when you teach them the importance of learning, that's when it's really rewarding. Because, I don't know, middle school, they're not thinking much about that sometimes. All they're thinking about is what they're going to do with their friends. <clears throat> this one's really pretty, nice and heavy. I believe they're all acrylic beads, rosary links, and some shell in here as well. Very nice, super long. This is definitely triple, maybe even four times around your neck. It does have a mark. And it is a Premier Designs. Premier Designs it has that little crown with the little laurel leaves. So that's a very nice brand. It really is. It doesn't have a huge resale value, but it's very well made and um, people appreciate it. And there are some really nice retired pieces that people like. Look at this lovely heart. The hearts are just everywhere, Miss Pamela. Thank you so much. That is so cute. It's a tiny little anklet or something. This thing is small. Maybe it just, I want to save this little charm. It's so cute. Because it is on the tiniest little chain. Sorry for bumping into this camera. This camera is not at its ideal position for me. I'm still not crazy about it. All right, here is a beautiful dove. He's marked. I can't read it. It's really pretty. I cannot read it. It looks like it may say Avon on it. Very pretty, though. I think this could be a... No, it is a bracelet. I was thinking it was an anklet, but it's a bracelet. Very cool. All right, another choker, little nylon one, and oh, this one's cute. Look at this little choker. <laughs> These are cute. That is so sweet. Just a tiny little mesh thing going on here. That is cute. Oh, nice chain. This is um, a Banana Republic. It's got a B and an R on it. That's a very nice piece. Very heavy as well. Love that. 
And we have some more fashion jewelry in a box, in a bag here. Let me cut this and you can see it. It's very sweet. It's a moon. Can't beat that. Above the moon and the celestial themes. This is nice and weighty too. This is pretty. Look at that. that be a moon? What's the other one? Like little horns too, right? That's pretty. All right, let's see what else is in here. A little gold tone bangle. There goes that loop again. Oh, cute. Real pearl on here. Look at that horseshoe brooch. I love it. That's a real pearl. And I think there's a mark on it, but my loop keeps falling. There it is. Oh my goodness, I tell you, I take forever. Oh wow, I'm like on slow motion today. I thought I saw a mark on it. I don't see, I thought I saw a mark right there, but now I don't see it. Down there. It's just a hammering. But that's gorgeous. I've never seen anything like that. Not in gold tone or not that's you know overly western style. That is beautiful. That's a genuine pearl. It's a huge pearl. That is really nice. Here is some Unikite. I remembered that name. Unikite. And very nice toggle on here. Heart toggle. There are the hearts again. This looks like some kind of jasper. The white one does. That's pretty. That is so petite. Unikite. Very nice little beads. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at this. Look at that. This one is a chain inside of a net, a rhinestone chain inside of a net chain. Here is a twisted rope. Here is a twisted beaded rope. That is so pretty and it's in that really nice beige gold. Can you guys see that? That is so amazing. Really, really cool. I like that. It's very heavy, too. Oh, are y'all getting buffering again? Oh, my goodness. Well, we're almost done. We're going to probably stop now. We're at 58 minutes. Look at this. This is nice. This looks like jade. It honestly looks like real jade. It feels very cold. I'll let you look at it. Judge for yourself. Could be man-made. Very cold, though. Very pretty, regardless. Very nice piece. I don't see any mark on it, but super pretty. That is nice. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice and heavy, too. These remind me of the... Um, Tiffany and Company bean design. Look how cute that is. That is super heavy too on a cord. I will. Oh my gosh. Look at this skeleton key with crowns. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we're going to stop here because we've got a lot more to look at in there. And we still have a whole box right up here with another big huge gallon bag we'll stop with this beautiful key this is darling absolutely darling look at that it's got a crown heavy metal so cool we're going to stop here we're going to come back tomorrow if god's willing i'll be here if my husband doesn't um, strangle me after helping me with some fines from the estate sale <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll be here as soon as I can possibly be tomorrow sometime for the rest of this jewelry. And, uh, of course, I'm going to bring you thrift hauls as well because I haven't brought them yet and I have so many things to show you. I hope you love this channel as much as, I mean, I hope you love thrifting and you love this channel after you watch it a few times. And subscribe because we do a lot of thrifting, a lot of treasure hunting. Again, we are always looking for jewelry, but there is a lot of other things out there just waiting to be found at the Goodwill and all the thrift stores that I like to frequent. And uh, again, like I said, tomorrow, even in a state sale. So come back again, guys, really soon. Have a good night. Be safe. Stay warm. And I'll talk to you soon.